Beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, I welcome you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for this evening's study and praise to the Lord and thanksgiving to the Lord. And we know that uh, when we come into the presence of God, He will never send us empty handed or I can say like this, when we come into the presence of God, we will not return empty handed. So today let us believe the Lord will speak to us from his word and empower us, encourage us, strengthen us by the power of his Holy Spirit and by his word. So just before we meditate on the word, let us pray and sing a song to the Lord and glorify his holy name. Let us pray. Holy Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful evening. Lord, we are so grateful to you for your love, for your compassion, for your mercy, which provided Jesus as the atoning sacrifice for our sins, for the remissions and redemption of our lives from the eternal judgment and sin O Lord. Holy Father, today we boldly confess that we are your children being justified by faith in the name of Jesus our Father. Lord as we have come this evening in your presence, Lord we would like to offer you the thanksgiving and praises and worship which is due unto you and also we plead that you will speak to us today. Enlighten us, O oh Father. Open the eyes of our understanding that we might see the hidden truths of your word which we may apply in our lives and see the glory of the kingdom of God being manifest in and through our lives, O oh Father. We give you all the glory and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Dear friends, let us sing a song to the Lord and then meditate the word of God.
Praise the Lord. Dear friends, it's a great joy to me to be in the presence of God and also to be with you this evening to minister the word of God because the word of God is powerful. And Peter said to Jesus, Lord, you have the words of eternal life and such eternal life filled words we are meditating this evening today i'll be focusing on a topic how you see yourself dear brothers and sisters in christ the way we see ourselves defines how we live in the Lord. The way we see ourselves that defines our destiny. Because that is what is the word of God revealing to his people by the Holy Spirit so that we can understand and reach the destiny which God has designed for us to reach. So let me go to a very important topic which is generally most of the time though we understand it we misunderstand such one topic we will be looking into for a few minutes. Let's turn our Bibles to the book of Romans chapter 5. I'll read for you from verses 1 and 2. Therefore, being justified by, by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Verse 6 says, For when we were yet without strength in due time, Christ died for un the ungodly, for scarcely for a righteous man will one die. Yet, peradventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. But God commendeth his love toward us in that while we were at sinners, Christ died for us, much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For if we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son much more being reconciled we shall be saved by his life and not only so but we also join in God through our Lord Jesus Christ by whom we have now received the atonement hallelujah verse 1 is saying Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, here this scripture is talking about we have been called to be righteous or we have been made righteous through the blood of Jesus Christ. But even if after we have been justified and made righteous through the blood of his son, yet we face a very big conflict within our lives 
about our past of sinful nature and we most of the time our own thoughts will bombard and say that we are not righteous we are sinners we are guilty we are criminals we are wrong and we when we hear those thoughts that bombard against us in our own selves we come to a point believing those thoughts and say yeah god made me righteous but still i am a sinner we feel pity about ourselves we look into our own status or the stage where we are in and we feel pity about it and we stay there we stay there we stay there we never progress in faith i hope you also have experienced this kind of experience in your life today the spirit of the lord is speaking to us something that we need to understand what really means to be justified or made righteous so before i could express this topic let me consider or read this part in another translation which is called isv there it says therefore since we have been justified by faith we have peace with god through our lord jesus the messiah through him we have also obtained access by faith into his grace by which we have been established and we boast because of our hope in god's glory again this portion also speaks about being justified by faith or we are made righteous by faith hallelujah and verse 9 also says now that we have been justified by his blood how much more will we be saved from wrath through him so let me put this in a few examples my friends imagine somebody is in the court of the law for argument and that person is called to be guilty and he files the case and he fights and there will be a lot of arguments and finally the one who is called guilty if he provides all the evidences that required or satisfies the law or the court of the law and he wins the argument then he will be considered or declared or decreed that he is an innocent person remember this word innocent just before the court could declare this man was inside the court being a guilty person but from the moment when the court orders a decree saying this man is innocent his status changes the same way with a criminal whether a criminal or guilty when he is declared or he satisfies the court of the law by the evidences or by whatever the requirements the court demands then the court will order a decree saying this man is innocent or lawful understand this example here my friends just before that judgment being passed as innocent by the court this man was a guilty man he himself also might have been seeing himself guilty and the rest of the entire world and the court was considering to considering him to be a guilty person but as soon as the court declares that he is innocent the charge being guilty is cancelled on his life and he becomes innocent means he, no more he is guilty no more he is a criminal from the moment the order is passed he is innocent 
or lawful and when he walks out of the campus of the court not as a criminal not as a guilty but he will walk out as an innocent person and lawful person and he lifts his head high up and he goes with all joy with all boldness into the world exactly the similar way the blood of jesus or the atoning sacrifice of jesus has satisfied the law of god for your redemption and my redemption and to declare you and me as righteous by the death burial and resurrection of jesus christ the day you believe in jesus the scripture says the law of god says you will be justified that means you will be declared a judgment will be passed in your name saying you are no more a sinner you are a righteous person you are no more a convict or guilty or criminal but you will you are the righteous son of god so what a child of god must understand here the once my friends when you believe in jesus christ and be born again in the name of jesus christ because you confessed your sinful life and repented for the life of sin and made the lord jesus as your personal savior the law of god says you are no more sinner from this point you are a righteous person so the walk of a born again child of god from that moment should be as i am righteous i am not a guilty person i am an innocent person and i have been accepted by god and all that i need to think not about my past but what i can be hereafter because the moment god declared you as righteous or god justified you by faith when you put his your faith in the name of jesus christ god justified you as righteous person so from that moment your past has been cancelled everything has become new in christ so the walk from that moment a person's life should be focused on being justified not as a guilty or sinner how wonderful is the gospel my friends understand this is the power of the gospel the power of the gospel is unto salvation that's what romans chapter 1 says so the day you received the gospel and believed in the name of jesus christ confessed your sin and repented for the life of sin and you when you committed your life for the life of righteousness to live for god according to his righteous law which is recorded in his holy scriptures that moment onwards you were justified and you called righteous so that means from the moment of my born again experience i must see myself as a person who is called righteous or made a righteous or justified by the blood justified by faith in the name of jesus christ don't see yourself as a sinner who is going to hell what if uh, guilty after being declared as innocent goes on saying i'm guilty i'm going to be punished i'm going to be punished what's the meaning of that judgment but my friends it is easy for us to understand the natural laws but we find it difficult to understand the spiritual laws that's all this is so easy understand this very simple the moment or the from the day you made jesus as your lord you are righteous in the righteous law of god or according to the demand of the righteous law of god you have become a righteous person when the word of god says you are righteous when it justifies that you are righteous from then you and i need to walk as righteous people from that moment it must be our desire or passion that i will no more sin i will never choose any paths that you know that are not pleasing to god or i should not choose any paths which god does not agree with i should not choose any paths 
which the word of God does not agree with. Just follow the word and choose the way which pleases of the Lord. This is what we need to strive after we have been justified. You know, being justified never certifies us to commit sin again and again. From that moment, we need to make sure that we will not walk back into the old life or old sinful nature. That's where we need to guard ourselves and walk in the righteous paths of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me give you one more example. You know, I speak to you a few examples just because to make understand the truth. Otherwise, only the scripture presentation may not be able to grasp the truth that is needed to be received or grasped. So my friends, the, another example is, imagine a widow and uh, she goes for a second marriage. As long as she marries, she is a widow. Her own heart says she is a widow. Her mind, her emotions and the people around her and the society in general looks at her sees at her and says at her that she is widow. Even she herself looks herself as widow. But by God's grace and by God's mercy, if she enters into another life, marrying with another person or she establishes herself in another new family, the moment she enters into marriage covenant, she is no more a widow. She can never be called widow. And from that moment, she will never see herself as widow. She will see as a married woman with family. That's all. Not only she and people around her see her as a married woman. That's all. The same way, when we were at sinners, it was right for us to claim and believe and see ourselves as sinners and the people who are destined to be judged by God eternally and be punished. But at the moment when we confessed our sins and accepted Jesus as our Lord and Savior and be born again, from that moment you are no more a sinner. See yourself as a righteous, free from sin, free from curse, free from God's wrath, free from judgment, free from hell. You are absolutely righteous, holy, perfect child of God who is called to be with God for eternity. If you and I see ourselves in that fashion, then only we can walk and live the life of righteousness and holiness and the life that pleases God. For the scripture says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 Therefore, if anyone is in the Messiah, he is a new creation. All things have disappeared and look, all things have become new. This is ISV translation. Very clearly the scripture puts before us. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Today, if you are in Christ, know that, for, know that it is sure that you are in Christ and you are righteous. And here the scripture says, you are a new creation. If you are believed in Jesus, if you are born again, you are a new creation. And not only it doesn't stop there, very clearly it says, behold, all things have passed away and everything has become new. Old things have disappeared and look, all things have become new. That means, today I would like to encourage you, my friends, my brothers and sisters. When God has justified you, 
when our god has declared you as innocent god has declared you as righteous and holy who will be with him for eternity the day you made the lord jesus christ then why you want to see yourself as a old sinner why do you want to fear that you will be thrown into lake of fire hallelujah don't you know the sacrifice of christ is so powerful that has already justified you that you are righteous if you believe this scripture let me tell you if you really believe these two scriptures which i quoted you stop seeing yourself as a sinner stop seeing yourself as a person who is going to be punished eternally but start seeing god made you holy and righteous so that you can guard yourself and walk in the newness of life that is in line with his word and in the desire that pleases god that will make you the perfect child of god and you will walk victoriously you will walk your head lifted high for the scripture says our god is the glory and the lifter of our heads hallelujah how blessed we are amen hallelujah praise the lord the sacrifice of god christ jesus has satisfied the demand of the righteous law of god to deliver you and me that's all if we believe that let us walk in it be bold see yourself as a child of god see yourself as a righteous child of god see yourself as a holy child of god because in christ 1 corinthians chapter 1 verse 30 says in christ god has made you and me righteous holy wisdom and sanctification hallelujah praise god you are already made but we need to walk in it hallelujah i encourage you my friends see how sees you you know let your eyes be the eyes of god the way god looks at you you look yourself the way god thinks about you you think about yourself in the same way then you can walk the life of victory over the powers of the enemy over the power of your self guilt and you will walk a very victorious and powerful life in the power of the spirit of the living god god bless you my friends today i pray for you believe this and after few days you yourself will testify how drastically this truth changes the way you walk the way you see yourself the you way you think about yourself this will change the course of life this truth hold on to this let me pray father in heaven we thank you for this beautiful evening master thank you for justifying us when we believed in your son but before we could believe you have justified us through the blood and the atoning sacrifice of your son jesus christ lord we are simply thanking you with a heart of gratitude we say thank you for offering your son and calling us to be righteous holy and your children as we read in the scripture lord while we were at ungodly while we were at sinners while we were at enemies to god you you loved us and you sent your son for us 
and through his death burial and resurrection you have cancelled our past and you have given us new birth and help us to walk in this new life so that we will live a life that pleases you and the life that is victorious in our lives holy father change the way we see ourselves change the way we think about ourselves and help us to walk the way you see and you think lord we believe this grace is already endowed upon our lives by jesus thank you master thank you for hearing us in jesus most holy name we pray amen praise the lord friends i believe god has blessed you and i believe you will have testimonies to share very soon the way this thought is going to shift the way you think the way you see, see yourself and you will see more victories in your life if you believe this message has blessed you please share it to the people who need and be a blessing to your people god bless you